Serial Dip to Projects Private Limited has launched the fifth ammunition cum torpedo cum missile barge for the Indian Navy. Ministry of Defense has signed a 1,070 crore rupees contract with Mazagin Dock Ship Builders for acquisition of 14 modern fast patrol vessels for the Indian Coast Guard. The Indian Navy and the Brahmos Aerospace have jointly carried out a successful engagement of a land target at enhanced range with an advanced supersonic cruise missile. The test was for the 800 km extended range version of the Brahmos supersonic cruise missile, as the note am issued was for a range of 900 km. India will begin export of ground systems for Brahmos supersonic cruise missiles to Philippines on 4 February, and the cruise missiles will be sent by March. A Chinese Type 69 rocket-propelled grenade warhead was discovered nearly 3 km inland on the shores of the Middle Andaman Island, and investigation has started to find if it was lost at sea, discarded deliberately, or it is part of a larger anti-India operation. The two main opposition parties in Maldives have called India as the most long-standing ally, and they expressed concern about the present government's anti-India stance. Maharashtra's ATS has arrested a 32-year-old engineer from Nashik City, for transferring funds to ISIS three times, and communicating with a foreign entity associated with ISIS. Afghanistan has thanked India for supplying 40,000 litres of eco-friendly pesticide to fight locust menace. India and France are expected to sign a preliminary agreement to collaborate on the development of small modular nuclear reactors that will reduce India's reliance on coal. The DRDO has replaced the outdated hardware on the Russian SAP 518 electronic warfare pods with indigenously designed modular electronic warfare building blocks and associated software. The advanced blocks are far superior to the existing Russian systems, that can spoof and jam next-generation Acer radars, and its modular design allows for easy integration of future upgrades and adaptation to evolving threats. The Indian Air Force has started conducting rigorous in-flight testing and validation of the upgraded electronic warfare pods, that will ensure that the new systems perform effectively, and seamlessly integrate with existing avionics of Su-30. The Indian Navy chief has said, that the Defence Acquisition Council has already approved the acquisition of 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets for the Navy, and while an official announcement may not be forthcoming immediately, the price negotiations and contractual formalities are actively progressing with the French government. The Navy chief also revealed, that the Defence Acquisition Council has also approved the construction of three additional Scorpion submarines, and the Navy is collaborating with Mazagin Dock Ship Builders Limited in preparing bid documents for the project. Latest media reports indicate that the 10,000-ton next-generation destroyer will start first metal cutting within the next five years, and will feature directed energy weapons, and long-range anti-ship missiles capable of integrating hypersonic warheads. The Navy will replace the 100 km range Linda Israeli MR SAM, with three indigenous long-range interceptors of 150 km, 250 km and 350 km under Project Kusha by 2029. Officials have said, that the details surrounding the 6,000-ton Project 75 Alpha nuclear attack submarines remains classified, but insider sources have revealed that a formidable submarine program is under development. It will feature next-generation stealth design, anechoic coatings, and specially shaped hulls to minimize sonic and radar signatures, allowing them to operate undetected throughout enemy territory. The Navy will integrate autonomous underwater drones on board the SSNs for both offensive and defensive capabilities, countermine warfare and decoy deception. Today's top 3 comments.